the sales manager role is the most important job in the entire corporation. The sales rep, it's the toughest job because the, in, in any corporation, the sales professional, the sales rep, the account manager, they are the lifeblood of any organization because they're the ones out there on the front line, knocking on the doors, making things happen. The sales reps are the lifeblood, but the sales manager, the sales leader is the heart that pumps the blood through the, out the entire body. So without a healthy heart, you can't, the blood can't flow properly. So your job as a sales leader and as a sales manager is the most important job in the entire company. So five keys on accountability. Number one, accountability is easy. So if you can stick to these five keys, I promise you, you'll do a much better job and have a much stronger team. Number one, setting clear expectations. Number two, staying close to the business. Number three, and I want to give a special shout out to my good friend and mentor, Mr. Mike Landwehr, who's a sales director in Atlanta, Georgia. And inspecting what you expect is the number three key to accountability. Number four, and this is the, this is the toughest one, the most difficult one, is embracing conflict and having the guts to have difficult conversations with your team. And number five, the most important, is being a constant source of positive energy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break down and spend a few minutes on each of the five keys. So setting clear expectations. In any organization, in any sales organization, the most successful organizations, the leader sets clear expectations. The strategy is crystal clear. Everyone knows what's expected. Everyone knows what's required. And there's no confusion. There's no gray area. It's black and white. Expectations are clear. So you must set clear expectations in order to have a platform to drive accountability. Number two, as a sales leader, you must stay close to the business. You can't interact with your employees. You can't interact with customers. You can't run your business from behind your computer or in your boxer shorts working from home. You must be on the front line. You must be going out on appointments. You must be involved in all the big deals and all the contract negotiations. You must hold consistent one-on-ones, meaningful one-on-ones. You also must hold consistent funnel reviews. And... You must stay close to the business because if you're close to the business, you know what's going on, you can coach behavior, and you can help your reps develop their de de developmental areas, the areas of weaknesses that they have, but you can also help them hone in and stay focused on their areas of strength. So you must stay close to the business. Number three, and this is one I got from Mike Landwehr, inspect what you expect. And I'll say that again, inspect what you expect. How do you do that? Use the win scorecard. Sprint has invested tons of money into this powerful tool, but it drills down in on appointments, it drills down in on revenue, on sales. So if you have a platform, you have a structure to inspect the activity, to inspect the sales results, you can coach behavior. So you must have a platform and be willing to inspect what you expect. Embracing conflict. I'm going to spend a minute on this one because this is probably the most difficult aspect of being a leader. And this is the reason why you can separate mediocre leaders from great leaders. It's because they're not scared to embrace conflict and have difficult conversations with their employees. Your employees will respect you more if you're real with them, you're up front, and you set clear expectations. But if you're coaching behavior and you're willing to sit down, close the door, and correct behavior and address behavior and address, address the things that aren't happening, you will have a much stronger team. You'll have the more respect from your top performers and from your bottom performers. So you must be willing to embrace conflict and have the guts to have those difficult conversations when people aren't doing what they're supposed to do to be successful. You are not doing them a favor as a leader and you're not doing yourself justice. So please embrace conflict. Last but definitely not least, you must be a positive source of inspiration and energy. Because remember, the sales rep is the only thing, you're the only thing between that sales rep and the fire. You're the last line of defense. So after every interaction you have with a sales professional, always think, what am I doing? What am I saying to this person to get them fired up to go out and sell more services for Sprint? So always be positive, be a source of inspiration, and always keep your team motivated. So in summary, accountability is easy if you execute these five things. Number one, set clear expectations. Number two, stay close to the business. Number three, inspect what you expect. Number four, embrace conflict and be willing to have difficult conversations. And number five, always be 
a positive source of inspiration and energy. If you execute these five blueprint tips to being successful in sales leadership and holding your team accountable, I guarantee you better results, a stronger team, and more respect of your, your subordinates. Once again, accountability is tough, but if you execute these five things, it's very easy. Once again, my name is Reggie Marable.